progress from that. Eventually the background will be more cute than this. It's kind of the point of today's video. I did come prepared with notes because I have not made a YouTube video in a hot minute. Hello, my name is Sakura and it has been quite a few years since I made a YouTube video. I just love documenting my life and I really want to get more into long form content because TikTok brain rot is so real. As most of us did since COVID, I have gotten sucked into the TikTok void and the brain rot is real. I used to be smart, I used to read for fun, now I scroll endlessly. Getting back into YouTube is trying to get out of that kind of mess my brain is in. Anyway, on top of that, I've also been struggling with postpartum depression. Honestly, regular depression too, let's be real. Um, but yeah, it's hit a lot harder lately and it's been two and a half years since I gave birth. I just want to improve my life, get back into things that I enjoy, be creative. I'm such an artistic person and I feel like I just don't get time to be myself and do things I want to do. So this is step one into trying to do that. Uh, well, after that somber introduction, let's get into the point of the video. Trying on all the clothes in my closet. I know we're not doing that all in this video, as you can tell. This is one room of many filled with clothes. And I promise the rest of the video hopefully will not be as depressing as the beginning. But I did want you to know what you're getting into. All right, before we begin, I must preface by saying I'm not like other girls. Um, yeah, that was so cringe, but I don't mean that in like a fun, quirky, quirky, quirky. I can never pronounce that freaking word. There are so many big words that I would love to use in my vocabulary and then I try to use them and I like stumble all over every single letter and I'm like, I'm freaking stupid. Let me never attempt that ever again. That's so embarrassing. I'm saying this to a camera so I can probably just edit this out and no one would ever know. I say that because I am a hoarder. I have so much crap and I'm not even saying that like, <laughs> I like to collect things, I'm so cool. No, I have so much stuff and it's a problem. It's not hoarding, if your shit is cool. Um, no babe, it's still hoarding and <laughs> it's still a problem. The reason it's a problem to me is because I have so much stuff, I feel like I can't really appreciate the things I love. I have things that I like, I like to look at, I don't like to put on my body, I don't like to wear it at the house, so why is it hung up in my closet? There is someone out there that will love it so much more and most importantly we'll wear it outside of the house and appreciate it i've thrifted my entire life i love finding cool unique especially vintage things and even if i don't really like or need them as you'll see they end up in a bag or a bin or shoved in a closet somewhere that can barely shut digressing real quick but it kind of relates i used to watch hoarders like every day and at one point i was like wow that is so relatable like some points that they bring up to kind of justify why they hold on to things i'm like no, that makes total sense like what's wrong with that and i'd be watching this with my husband who looks over at me and he does not have a lot of stuff at all and he's like babe but the type of item i mostly hoard if you can't already tell is clothing but specifically mostly vintage clothing i have very few fast fashion pieces and the ones i do have i probably didn't buy new i probably thrifted it i just love bargains and the thrill of the hunt and finding things that you just can't buy at the store and in my mind, I'm also justifying it because a lot of the time I shop at the bins and I'm like, I'm saving these from the landfill. That does not make it okay. I found a lot of these items at the bins where you just like dig through clothing, like thousands of pounds of clothing and you pay by the pound. These clothes are all like rejected from the thrift store or didn't sell and they are headed to the landfill. We're not gonna get into the details of that today, but what we are gonna get into is my dress collection. Yay! The only way this is gonna work is if we break it down into manageable, manageable, manageable chunks. Me and big words, man. And this is the chunk I would like to tackle first. I kind of started this process. Um, I went through my short dresses very quickly and just set aside the ones that I know 100% I love, I like, and that fit. And then all the other ones are ones that I want to try on, make sure I like them, and we're gonna break that down into two categories. So one category will be obviously to keep and I'll put it on the rack and then the other one is to sell. So I was going to make two categories for the sell category so like one for Depop or markets or whatnot but honestly just even thinking about that is like kind of overwhelming me so I think I'm just going to stick to the two files and then we'll decide from there. I'll try to have a couple of the items already listed on Depop so if you're interested in buying anything um, this is my Depop right here and if you're interested I also sell at vintage markets. Um, so I will link my vintage Instagram down below and that's where I post upcoming markets. It's mostly in SoCal. I have a couple in San Diego. San Diego. <laughs> I have a couple in San Diego coming up. Another reason why I've accumulated so many is because before I had Olive, my body <laughs> looked a lot different. Bodies change. That's normal. That's okay. Except for when you grow out of your favorite vintage dresses that you can't just go to the store and buy another one. 
So then they just end up rotting on this rack for no one to love or appreciate besides me when I occasionally skim through trying to find something to wear and I'm like, I know you don't fit. I don't know if I said this, but the ones that I absolutely love but don't fit and I can't get rid of them yet, I'm going to put in a bin. They just have been eating so bad and not working out and I want to get back I want to get back into that. So maybe one day it'll fit. I'm not I'm not saying I'm going to starve myself to fit into these clothes. That is college Sakura. We have grown. We have changed. We're good. We're healthy. But if those clothes end up not fitting, that's fine because my daughter is going to have the coolest shit to inherit. Well, like, not like me die. Like, she'll get it sooner. Honestly, sometimes I think about if I had an estate sale, like, that would pop off. I talk way too much. I apologize. Let's start this freaking video. All right, here's the rack we're tackling. We're not going through this whole rack. I have long dresses here. I have some skirts here. We're just doing mini dresses, which is a good chunk of this rack anyway. But like I said, manageable chunks. Not getting overwhelmed today. I'm just gonna take off some of this stuff so I'm less overwhelmed. It's also just so stuffed you can't even move anything around. Here are all my short dresses, so beautiful. This used to be color organized. That's what we're getting back into, hopefully by the end of this video. This one I know I love. I just bought this one from a vintage store in San Diego that just opened up. Go check it out, so freaking cute. Prices are so good too. Okay, I lied. I'm gonna color organize this real quick. It'll just make this process a little smoother. These are basically the same exact dress, just in different colors, so I'm just going to hang them up next to each other for now. Ta-da! I'm going to be honest, there is a very big possibility I have more mini dresses that are in my closet somewhere. Let me go check real quick. Look who I found hiding in the other closet. They really thought they could just go in there to avoid getting rid of, but no, not today. Maybe. We are ready to begin. If you haven't done so, sit back, relax, grab some popcorn and a Dr. Pepper, um, because this is probably going to be a very wild, bumpy, and emotional ride. Okay, I'm going to show the ones I'm definitely keeping that I know I love. This is a dark red. It's not showing up very good on camera. I made this one all by myself. No pattern either. This one? Brand new with tags, Betsy Johnson. Originally $310, I got it for less than 20. Crazy. This is technically a swim dress, but I had my maternity pictures in this. A lot of these dresses, I just have like really good memories attached to them. Like this one I wore for Easter. It was like all those first real Easter. Like <laughs> I could never get rid of that. I think this one's 1960s or 70s, um, but this was in the sweater sweater section, and it's like a little knit mod mini dress. So silly. This is one of my favorite brands. It's All That Jazz. I collect All That Jazz. I probably have a dozen of that brand dress. Once again, by collect, I mean hoard. Let's be honest here. This one is one of the few items that I purchased new from like Francesca's back in... 2020-ish, but this is just like a good like dinner with fam, church kind of dress, so I like to keep it on hand. Have I worn it within the last year? No. This one is True Vintage, has a union made paper tag. Just got her at the bins recently. Haven't worn her yet. Here's the brand, Legs Avenue. Made in China, so probably not vintage, but early 2000s stuff was also made in vintage, so was it? <sighs> and if you're keeping track, yes, this is the third and final style of this dress I have. I have it in the green and the red corduroy, and I love it. I love just throwing this on over like a little t-shirt with some boots, some docks. I thrifted this from the Halloween section last year. I was going to wear it as my birthday dress this year, but we didn't really end up doing anything too crazy, so maybe next year. Probably not next year. To begin, we're gonna change. I had a really good breakfast, okay? The skirt fit a lot better before I left the house this morning. We just start at white and work our way down. Okay. 
<laughs> Why am I kind of nervous? I don't want to get rid of anything. There might be some lines from the shorts I'm wearing, so just keep that in mind. This one's not vintage, but it is thrifted. I don't have like any just little white dresses. We're gonna keep her. I just feel like this is a good basic. I could also just throw on a vest and it'd be a cute casual outfit. I'm also wearing my boots, not that you can see them, um, just so I can imagine what they would look like when I style them because I've been wearing these shoes like literally every day. They're so comfortable. I also have to remember to film, film blah, blah, blah. I also have to remember to film a video for TikTok. I think I have another tripod somewhere. I couldn't find my tripod, but I do have this shelf that's kind of tall. Um, so I'm just gonna use that. Here we go, thinking smarter, not harder. I'm trying on every single mini dress I own. I do really like this one and I love like the low back. I think that's so fun. It's just not fitting great. And if I don't love it, I might as well get rid of it. I do really like this one. I think it's a cute little baby doll dress. It's just pretty see-through and I feel like that's why I haven't worn it. I think if I had a white slip to wear under it, I would wear it. I just don't have one. So I'm going to keep her for now. Now I know to look for a white slip. Look how beautiful the little details are in the arm. That's so beautiful. This one is clearly too small. She doesn't zip, but this did fit recently, like after I gave birth. I think the depressed eating has played a little role. All of my clothes are getting a little tighter. But I think I'm coming out of it, so I'm just going to put it in a bin. I'll try it on in a couple months, and then if it doesn't fit, she'll either go or I'll save her for my daughter. I'm pretty sure I also have this exact dress in black, so we'll get to there eventually. This is one of my favorite dresses, and I think it's either 100% rayon or maybe cotton, um, which tends to shrink. And after I washed it for the first time, it did shrink a little bit. I'm going to try to stretch it out, but it still fits fine. I thought it was going to be a lot shorter now, but my butt is covered. That's all I really care. A little discomfort never really hurt anyone that much, did it? Also, close up on the details. I love this dress. This one fit once upon a time. I know for a fact it does not fit now. So I will be adding her to my pile to revisit in the future or save for Olive. Literally so good. I really hope Olive's gonna have a similar style when she grows up because if not, I will be hoarding all of these beautiful items for nothing. It's okay. Honestly, if you think about it, it's kind of an investment because if you think about vintage clothing and the value now, if you wait like a decade or two, it should at least double in price from inflation, right? I swear that's probably something someone said on Hoarders. You are literally just watching an episode of Hoarders right now. I can't reach the zipper on this one to zip it up. Um, I know it's short. It's like a 60s mod dress. I'm sure it had like little shorts or a skirt to go with it i do really like it i just don't know how i would style it honestly with just like a little white slip skirt with like a little lace at the bottom that could be really cute maybe even some white lace bloomers i'm gonna have to make a list of things i need in order to wear some pieces in my closet so white slip white la lace bloomers or like i can make a little white slip skirt that has some lace on the bottom that would be pretty easy but we're gonna add a new pile which will be the men slash alter pile because it does have these buttons on top just for decoration um but it's missing one so i think i'll just take them all off which kind of sucks because i would like to keep them because it's unique but i guess i could just replace them with other buttons i have since if you know me i have quite a few buttons i'm kind of on the fence about this one maybe i should just get rid of it i'm gonna keep it and please tell me in the comments if you think it's worth giving a shot at styling it's funny because when I thrifted this dress, it was actually like right above the knees and I think it's another rayon piece. When I washed it, it shrunk. It shrunk so much. It was like a shirt. It didn't even cover my butt and I was devastated. Um, but I guess I ended up stretching it out or maybe it just like stretched out on its own because now it's actually like the perfect mini dress. I'm so glad I tried this on because in my head it was like teeny tiny short small. But it's actually perfect now and this is like a bib layer almost like it has a little tie but it i don't know it's so cute this is going so great do you know how many dresses we've gotten rid of one and by getting rid of i mean adding it to the pile that i'll probably never take pictures of and post i don't mean that we're actually doing it this time we're sticking to our goals we're making it happen i am not used to having boobies this is crazy I don't know if you can tell it's this very light light pink and then it has the white piping and little tie things she is pretty damaged but i've been collecting those little like lacy doilies and i was thinking i could like 
sew some strategically on the dress to cover it up but also another reason why i have this dress hung up is because i wanted to try to recreate this exact style like sew it myself because it's so cute and so flattering also once i get that white slip i think i'll be able to wear this so another dress once again we're keeping but do i add her to the altar pile yeah she'll go in the altar pile this is another all that jazz piece and it does look like i'm about to bust out of it but it's actually not uncomfortable it just it looks not great also sometimes like with clothing with buttons like this it's kind of inevitable for it to look like this i could add some little clasps underneath if i cared enough this dress is really freaking cute and it's my favorite one of my favorite vintage brands i'm gonna add it to the pile of clothes i will try on again in the future i need to tie this a little tighter um i've actually haven't worn this but my friend wear it we did a little photo shoot and i styled her in my clothes and she looks so good so slay the only thing is i have neck and back problems and halter style clothing puts me in so much pain sometimes i think since this is pretty lightweight it might not but i'm just trying to decide if i like it enough to keep it or if someone might like it more but it is really cute and it fits pretty good so i will keep her for now this dress probably won't be everyone's cup of tea I feel like the pattern is kind of very 80s with the colors, but it's kind of like a bandana paisley print. This is another one of my favorite dress brands. It's also just so comfy and so cute. Like the material stretchy and something that's most important to me is comfort because I gravitate toward things that are comfortable and easy to wear. And this is one of those dresses. I also have a really cute cardigan that goes so perfectly with it. We're keeping her also just kind of fits perfectly okay this is an item that's kind of sentimental to me because i thrifted this back in high school on one of me and my dad's cross-country road trips i did not think she still fit honestly and she fits really good okay we're keeping her now that i know she fits i will probably be wearing her a lot more i honestly love this dress it's a mini dress so it's tactically not a mini but she made it into the rack so we're trying her on i got this at a market called second sundays it's in uh, Liberty Station in San Diego. It was on the $10 rack. And it's true vintage. It has the tags. And the print is adorable. We're keeping her. I did just thrift this one. I showed it in a TikTok. Um, but I'm not trying it on because I know I love it. And it fits so freaking good. Y2K exhilaration. Target. Vintage Target and vintage Walmart really popped off in their days. I was just going to get rid of this one without trying it on. But then like, what if I actually like it? Maroon is one of my favorite colors to wear, and I don't think I have any maroons. I have this one, but it's not really maroon. I was gonna get rid of this. I can't reach to zip it up all the way, but in my head, I think it was a different dress because I thought it was gonna be like knee length. This is so cute, like with these boots and like a black leather vest. Shut up! I feel like I'm getting like a whole new wardrobe right now, but it's really just been rotting in my closet. Okay, Clay, if you're watching this, don't hate me. I love this dress. It is so beautiful. You can't tell the color. It's like a mint green, which is one of my favorite colors. My friend got it for me for my birthday, and she thrifted it, and I thought that was so sweet. I tried wearing it once, and for some reason, I just did not like how it looked on. I'm going to try it on again just in case. Oh, literally shut up. This is so cute. Why did I not like this? I literally think it's the boots. I'm wearing my favorite shoes, so every outfit I'm like, slay, that is so cute. If you can kind of tell the color better, not trying to zoom in on a little bit. This is the color, it's like a teal blue with this lace overlay. This is actually so beautiful. Thank you, Clay. This would be the perfect dress to wear like to a market or something, because it's comfortable, it's cute. Okay, we're keeping her. I don't have very many slip dresses. I actually just got rid of most of them in a little $20 sale I did at a market. Anyway, besides the point, this is one of the few that I kept because it is so cute. I'm keeping this one. This one I love. It's a velvet green with this beaded freaking straps. This ice maker on my fridge always scares me. Anyway, shut up. Oh, fine, I'll try her on. Remember this one not fitting, but someone altered the dress and made the straps smaller my hair stuck wow i thought this wasn't gonna fit i think i just need to add it to the altar pile because it just feels very tight 
up here. But if I put the straps back to the length it used to be, it'll fit perfectly. I also love green so much. I love this dress. I think it's another slip dress technically. The problem is it's probably polyester or something crappy and <laughs> it looks terrible. It literally looks so bad. It's just like pilling like crazy. It has all these marks on it. And that's why I haven't worn it. But I love it. I love I love everything about it besides that. But like that's kind of the thing with vintage clothing. I feel like sometimes wear and tear kind of makes it a little cooler. Like it's been through stuff. I have wrinkles. I have scars. I'm still beautiful. So why can't I just literally trying to justify? Do whatever I can to freaking justify keeping everything I own. I literally can't, but I'm gonna keep it. It was damaged when I bought it, but I told myself I would use this as like a pattern to try to make basically the same dress in different material. We have to get rid of more than what we're getting rid of. So, although I love this dress, it's like a little dainty plaid, a little floral. Fine, I'll try it on. These little monsters are eating my brain. Okay, she's beautiful, but she is too tight on my dumpy. I really just want an excuse to like get rid of one thing. So even though I really like this one, I don't love the way it fits. It's not stretchy at all, but it is beautiful so proud of myself this is dress number two we're getting rid of i should have put this in the other section i know i love this dress we 100 percent are keeping her don't even have to try it on because i know it fits red flag when you see the freaking salvation army thrift store little tag on it still this is so cute i'm keeping it don't know why i haven't worn it yet will be now this dress is so beautiful i know it's stupid the only reason why i haven't worn it is because my freaking arm fat hangs out why do i care we all have it if it was literally like an inch longer on each side i'd be wearing this dress every freaking day i wear my hair down most of the time anyway so like you can't even tell why do i even care yes you guessed it we're gonna keep her okay jeez i will say i'm anxiously anticipating the verdict on her twin sister will i love her as much as i love her they are a little different this one doesn't have a zipper and it's a little bit thinner of a material we haven't even gotten halfway and my camera's about to die that's so fun please don't die please don't die i feel like this one's a little thicker this is her better half i will be keeping this one okay i'm gonna go get a new camera battery get a new battery i'm gonna go get a new battery another one of the few slip dresses i kept this one needs to be altered that's why i haven't worn it like it's so big on the top it's missing the middle little pearl but look at that detail once i take it in that'll be so cute all right we're gonna have to speed this up a little bit i know i love this dress it doesn't fit right now it's going in the pile of trying it on later i love this dress it is so cute it's plaid it's blue i just have too many similar blue plaid dresses and it still has the tags on it i'm selling her really hope i don't regret that on the topic of blue plaid i'm keeping this one i love this one so much is this too similar to this one no why would you even ask that that's literally so rude they're so different and then this one my friend found when we were thrifting together and i remember being so jealous and also i was so upset because she never wore it and then uh, she ended up giving it to me and i was so happy and then i never wore it i think it might be too small i think that's why i haven't worn it um when she thrifted it at the time it did fit me and that's why it was so sad don't tell me this fits this is so cute, but I think I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna ask if she wants it back. If not, I'll sell it. Oh, I wanna keep it. I remember when I thrifted this, I was so excited. It wasn't even that long ago um, because I was like, this is such a cute little like Christmas party dress. I look like a present. I still think it's so cute, but I literally cannot move. It is so tight. Um, the dumpy is constricted and it's not happy, so. We'll be selling her. I could add her to the pile, but getting rid of both of these. This is like a little pinstripe. This one has a oh, beautiful, like almost beaded detail. Love buyer two. Love this dress. No chance it fits right now. So I will put it in my pile of trying it on later because this is like a really good lightweight summer dress. This dress, to my surprise, does fit. I just can't zip it up all the way because I can't reach it. I'm going to keep this because I have these vintage like 60s 70s campus style boots that are so destroyed that i really want to dye like this dark maroon color and i think it'd be so slick together i also just think this dress is really cute oh there's a little lizard it's been kind of hard in my head of style but now that i have these boots literally everything looks good in it this dress is so freaking cute i'm just torn between 
selling it or putting it in the try on later pile. I know this doesn't fit because I tried to wear it recently. I'm gonna put it in the later pile because I don't come across this style often enough to feel comfortable getting rid of it. This dress is so cute. It's just short. I have too many navy blue ones. It's also just a little small. I didn't unzip it. We'll sell her. If you don't already know, like 90s and Taylor early 2000s popped off so hard. I love all of their styles. Like this looks like two pieces, but it's one. It's attached together, which honestly really shouldn't be because these could be two dresses on their own. I'm sure if you just like cut it right here you could wear them individually also try to wear this recently i don't know if i just didn't like the fit or that it didn't fit but we're gonna sell her okay this free people dress not vintage i think it's so cute she's a little tight but i could still wear her but it wasn't very comfortable my neighbor's kids are out right now and they're so loud i do really really like this dress for some reason so it's gonna go in the try on later pile this dress this freaking dress vintage rampage beautiful tiny it's a size small oh i'm gonna put it on sometimes i look at things i'm like we'll get rid of her and then freaking it's literally like the devil and angel on my shoulders telling me no you gotta try them on no save it for later it doesn't look flattering right now but if i was wearing spanx and not these like weird little brandy shorts that barely fit no that's actually so unflattering i'm putting it in the try on later part another all that jazz i need to show you how insane this dress is the whole fabric is this like iridescent but you can only really see it in the sun it's so hard to show i'm getting lazy i don't want to zip it up but it fits so good and i wore it for like halloween last year at a little market i did and since spooky season is right around the corner i'm gonna keep it i also just think it's really cute but the strap did get detached so going in the alteration pile this dress another buyer two i really like this one i do need to put it in the alteration pile and just like sew back this up because it's falling down i'm not sure if i'm gonna keep it or get rid of it i'm just gonna put it in that pile for now so it can be quick i love this dress this dress is so tiny and i'm not just like saying that like it's it's so tiny it's not gonna fit and if we're being real, I don't think this is ever going to fit me again, but it's going in the pile of saving for Olive just because of how much I love this little dress. Another great vintage brand, City Triangles. Okay, although this dress technically fits, I don't think I'd wear it out of the house. I wore this to Vegas for my 21st birthday, um, and it has some good memories in it, so I'm going to keep it either if it fits me down the road or for Olive because it's really cute. Love this dress. I'm going to get rid of her. I need to get rid of some stuff. Shut up. I'm literally not getting rid of this. Once again, don't feel like zipping. This dress is a little out there. I'm gonna keep it maybe like for a costume or if I get invited to like fashion week one year. Guys, I really think my fits would pop off so hard if I got invited. I went to a red carpet event in New York last year. This was my outfit. It was literally so slay. I, I can deliver y'all. I, I got this. Just give me the opportunity. Another one I'm keeping and I'm so glad I rediscovered it. I could wear a different dress every day for almost probably an entire year. That is... Okay. I've gotten such a dumpy in the last year because I got this off of Poshmark and it fit. Last summer. It's going in the pile of saving for later. If there's any of these dresses that you're just like, holy freaking crap, I need that, send me a message on Instagram. Like, maybe I'll decide to part with it. But I do want to preface, I'm probably not letting any of these go for under $40. I'm sorry. Some of the other ones that I've already decided to sell um, might be like $30 or $35. But for the most part, I feel like $40 for a good quality vintage dress is not a bad price. I'm so sad because I know this one's not gonna fit, but this was my favorite dress. It's not gonna fit. But in all of my years of thrifting, I have never found a similar dress ever. I am not getting rid of her. How is this a size nine? Oh, it's rayon? Another all that jazz. And are you realizing my obsession now? Like these dresses are just so freaking cute. So many, so beautiful, so precious. I don't need all of these dresses, but I have the room. So like, why not? If I was trying to downsize because I needed like more room, 
that's one thing but i have room i'm turning this whole room into my closet and we're gonna make it so cute and for that reason i'm not being as picky as i should be i thrifted this one with eugene a couple months ago holy crap this thing shrunk <laughs> no babe you just gained some weight that's okay what i was gonna say though is that it was really expensive at goodwill it was like 15 dollars, but like it's a romper and like the crotch situation like my torso is too long so I was gonna alter it to make it longer by just like lowering the seam and cutting off the excess. Now that it doesn't fit, no need to bother. So I guess we have another one to sell. I hope you guys realize how cute this is. I could just wear it open, but you can't guess the brand of this dress. Yes, she doesn't fit. And yes, she's all that jazz. But this is the dress I announced my pregnancy in. Why am I getting emotional? I also miss my daughter, I haven't seen her. 24 hours i have to save this i have to save it for olive or maybe it'll fit one day if not no worries no harm no foul aside from that dress with the color i just showed this is probably like my second favorite dress if i'm being honest i don't think i've ever worn this dress but it is really cute so i'm gonna keep it for the time being and if i don't wear her we're gonna sell her jocker wow who would have thunk i thrifted this dress in la actually not that long ago it's a halter um e spirit is that how you say it love that brand and i don't come across it very often i know this is a little tight on me and since it's a halter i'm just gonna sell it it's not special enough to hold on to so it is very classy very beautiful wow what never seen that before you would think i just like spend time online all the time looking up all that jazz and like ordering them online but i actually think i thrifted all of my all that jazz dresses i was doing a market recently in pacific beach called low tide love that market definitely check it out if you haven't it's on the smaller side but it's so good one of the other sellers there she was wearing the cutest freaking plaid vintage dress i've seen in my entire life i asked her the brand all that jazz okay this one will zip up i just it's tight it also sucks because it says the sizing is 11 12 which would usually fit me literally just my butt my butt is massive i'm actually gonna sell this one which is crazy because it's all that jazz so you'd think i'd want to you know save it for my collection but attempting to not be a hoarder and trying i'm really trying to get rid of stuff i will have to put it in the altar pile because while i was trying to try it on my dumpy um ripped the seam a little bit totally repairable well you won't even be able to notice love this dress i'm definitely keeping this one my mutual slash friend lily she blew up on tiktok but we have been mutual since she probably had like 4,000 followers anyway one of the times we hung out she borrowed this dress and it looks so cute on her also i just love keeping clothes that have good memories but besides that like this dress is so good this is the only dress i've taken my bra off to try on and that's because i thrifted this probably like a week or two ago it's victoria's secret i think it's probably like a slip but i don't have anything like this in my closet and i'm also seeing sabrina carpenter in a couple months and i think this would be a good option for her concert because of her vibe i don't really think i should wear black but black is my vibe so might end up wearing it if there's anything i've tried on that you look at you know like girl that's so freaking ugly like can you please just tell me because you know people have like blush blindness and like eyebrow blindness sometimes i think i have like clothes blindness because some days i think literally everything looks so good on me and then the same things the next day i'm like i hate this like i never want to put this on my body unfortunately i picked a day where i love everything on me um to do this video so please let me know i thrifted both of these halters this year i love both of them the only thing with this one the elastic has like stretched out so when i put it on you can kind of tell and it's not the most flattering if i really wanted to i'm sure i could fix it I'd rather just wear it how it is than try to go through the effort of doing that so I'm gonna keep both of these. I like both of these dresses, but I can live without them. I also know this one doesn't fit. That's the only reason why I'm not keeping it because it's so stunning. Both of these I know fit and I love them. This one is vintage guess. I don't have a lot of long sleeve dresses. This one's off the shoulder and I love to wear this out. Like when I go to LA and I go out like dinner and drinking with friends, this is my go-to dress. I would consider both of these going out dresses. This is, I don't, I think this tag is y2k i think forever 21 had a different tag in the 90s i wore this one going out in vegas very recently and i wore this one out for my birthday last year year before that 
shoot was that the last time i've worn this i feel like this is the type of dress you don't really wear casually um but i think it's really cute and once in a while an occasion to wear it does come up keeping this dress the only reason why i haven't worn it is because there's a tiny tiny bleach mark but i just bought some black dye yesterday at the bin so i can finally fix some of the clothes i've been putting off i am running out of energy so quick i hit a wall guys i just want to finish look how close we are literally got this dress at the bins last week i love the colors in the print i just wish it was literally just that much shorter like this it would be perfect so i'm gonna add it to the alteration pile this one would be a great halloween costume for like beetlejuice or like jack skeleton or something i don't know i think this is so cute i got this at a vintage market it's too small it was too small when i bought it and <laughs> i've gained weight i've gained weight since i bought it so we're gonna we're gonna sell her no i've been wrong so many times throughout this video which is why i was like okay just try it on um i tried it on it is tight but it doesn't look small I don't know. Final verdict. The vertical stripes just make me a little insecure about my tummy right now. I think I'm just going to put her in the pile because I can sell anything in that pile in the future. I just, I'm getting overwhelmed right now with all of these decisions. So it's in the pile. I just need to cut myself some slack because I'm doing really good. I've gotten rid of a handful of dresses and I've tried on so many. I love this dress. I think it's very unique, very beautiful. It has these little tiny tiny poke polka dots pokey dots I'm gonna go in the pile honestly this might still fit all right never mind so glad i tried this on actually fits perfect i just haven't been wearing it since it's long sleeve and i live in the desert where it's like 110 degrees it's literally insane but it's also extremely stretchy so i don't know what i was thinking wish i had this dress while i was pregnant it'd be so cute i remember when i thrifted this dress i had multiple dms of people asking me to sell it and i was like no sorry i'm keeping it I haven't worn it. I'm not the biggest fan of how it looks on me. It has this like attached situation that I think might just like wrap around your neck. I, I tried it a couple different ways, um, but nonetheless, you can also just tuck in or cut it off. I'm going to sell this one and I'm going to regret it because it's so good. I feel like this is definitely one that I should save for Olive, but I don't have any like memories in it and I'm not that attached to it. And I know there's people out there that'll love it. So, bye beautiful i don't need her she's going okay wait this would be so cute for sabrina because it's like still pink like very much her but then it has the little black the little edginess which is a little more my style this is also the kind of thing i'd probably just wear around the house it's really cute i'll keep her if i wear like a slip or something underneath and like a black leather jacket i feel like that'd be really cute for like going out to dinner or something all right now we're getting into i think all plain black dresses this one is velvet, but I love it. I love this little like mesh detailing on top. I think this is very fall vibes, winter. Not much more to say about this one. I don't remember if I showed this one. I'm keeping this one. All right, these are the only two that aren't technically plain black dresses. Let's go through these and then we can narrow down the black ones. This one, you will not, you will not guess the brand. Betsy Johnson. And if you're reading that, you saw the four, yeah no chance i'm a four but the question is do i save this for future olive or do i sell it because betsy johnson is like really popular right now so i could probably get a couple hundred dollars for this also my grandma thrifted this for me so it makes me want to keep it i really wish this fit we're gonna keep it we're gonna add it to the pile for later because i just i can't get rid of this it's so darling this is technically like a faux denim like it's a stretchy material but it kind of looks like denim and i really do like this dress one it's too small and two i think it's a little too y2k for my style i'm a little more like 90s basics i also have y2k obviously but it's very like i don't know i do think if i sell this i'm gonna miss it i'm gonna put it in the sale pile but i'll probably end up moving it to the save for later pile should I just put it in the save for later pile? Okay, fine. I'll just put it in the save for later pile. Good idea. This, all black dresses. All black dresses. I love black dresses. We're going to try to get through this as fast as possible. I don't know how many of these I'm going to try on because I kind of already know my mind. My mind is already made up on quite a few of these. These two, remember that tan one that I was like, I have the same one in black. 
this is it. I don't remember if I've tried this on. I'm pretty sure it is the same size as the other one. Oh, fine, I'll try it on. This one, however, might look a little basic. You're like, okay, whatever. Like, it's just a little dress. Yeah, no, it's 100% silk, and I'm pretty sure it's Gucci. It's a really nice designer. I can't find the tag right now, but I got it at the swap meet for like $10. It fit when I bought her, but it doesn't fit now, so I'm going to keep it in the pile because I don't own a lot of nice things, and the really nice things I have, like the Betsy Johnson, I'd like to be able to pass those on to my child. I looked through them very quickly. These are all ones I'm going to sell. Nothing wrong with them, per se. This one... I don't even really know what's going on with this one. I think I'm gonna cut off these straps when I list it because it I bought it as just like a really nice like off-the-shoulder black mini dress. Okay, so that means it's going in the altar pile and I might end up liking it again. This one, so freaking cute. Got it at a vintage market. It's too small. This one I love because it's like mesh, sheer, whatever. The pattern is very 80s to me, which is fun, but I could live without this one. Same with this one. This is a nice dress with a little mesh neckline pretty sure that's a good brand ecru studio i don't know got it in la haven't worn it in your head zombie zombie all right zombies are in my head that's such a freaking good song anyway i'm actually a big fat liar i'm keeping this one because i didn't realize it fit like this like it's a little kind of like it's loose fitting and I have a lot of tighter fitting black dresses. In my head when I was imagining this dress on, this was a lot more poofy. I thought it was gonna kind of like, you know what I mean? But it doesn't, it actually fits absolutely perfectly. And with that little detailing, also you literally cannot have enough little black dresses. There's also no way you guys have made it all the way through this video. Like how long is this video? Two hours? Perfect fitting little black dress. Love the high neck, keeping her. I love this more like baby stall fitting dress. I just don't know, is this supposed to be above the boobs? Does it look bad that like my boobs are under it or is that how it's supposed to be? I have worn this a couple times. I also love these buttons. They're like maroon flowers. It's also like the softest material I've ever felt. So at the least I'll wear it around the house. It's cute. This is a really nice little black mini express dress i love the fit of it it is too small currently i was gonna add it to my pile to save for later but it's just a little black dress like it's honestly not that special so i can sell her i think my mom found this dress for me and i'm pretty certain i like the way it fits and i'm also just too lazy to try stuff on right now so i'm gonna be keeping her for now this is just a little black slip which is nice to wear underneath other dresses so i'm going to keep it for that purpose this is not a dress i'd wear on its own another nice little black dress basic but the neckline is different than the other one and this one also is just a different like sheen like it's just a different material so we're keeping her now i thrifted this dress and tried it on it was perfect and then i accidentally shrunk it because it's 100 percent silk before i'm pretty sure this was a little longer and this like silk overlay is now shorter than the underlay underlay but if i'm being honest like the difference doesn't look bad like it kind of does look intentional i want to keep this dress because it's giving like witchy cute like these sleeves are so fun <sighs> if i'm being honest i don't know how much wear i'll actually get out of this just so funny because i thrifted this like two weeks ago and i remember being so excited showing eugene i'm like oh my god look how cute and now i'm trying it on two weeks later I'm like, huh, kind of mid. Let me take that back. This is not mid. I think I'm just kind of over trying stuff on, which is kind of good because I'm getting rid of more stuff. So I'm selling this one. I have a lot of like whimsy goth, whimsy goth style clothing, like witchy, kind of like gothy. Just look up whims whimsy goth, whimsy goth, whim. I've never actually said that out loud. I've only typed it before. I think since Halloween is approaching, like this is my time to finally wear this dress that I thrifted. I wanted to try this one on after the other one because the sleeves are kind of like giving the same thing and it's kind of a similar vibe. I'm gonna keep this one. Another one I can't bother to zip up right now because I am so tired. This one, beautiful. It does fit. It is a little tight, but it's not like uncomfortable tight. I just hope I don't really look like like a sausage casing that's too small for the meat but i do really like this one the little rosettes are so cute another one i'm not zipping but i love this chain detail on it i think it is 
very fun and unique and I love wearing like silver and fun chunky jewelry so I'm excited now that it's cooling down I can finally wear this dress this is the perfect fitting black mini dress I think this is a designer brand um it's it's tiny I I cannot fit in this like can you imagine this would probably not even cover my butt so I will sell this one but you know this fits beautifully if it's your size a size 44 which is like the European sizes it says made in Italy but this one does not fit you're like okay I mean it's cute it's nothing special no it's actually so special I think Drew Barrymore wore this dress in a different color on the some event I don't think it was red carpet some event I didn't know that until after the fact when I thrifted it and then when I found that out I was like holy crap that's so cool I don't have a lot of clothing that I know of that like celebrities have worn so I feel like that's just like so fun and a reason to keep it in itself but also the fact that it's just very cute but I just know for a fact it doesn't fit because it gives kind of pan it gives pancake boobs and my boobs are a lot bigger than they used to be so I know for sure it's not gonna fit right now I hope this one is bigger than the tan one because I don't have a black dress style literally shut up I bought this from one of my like friends that also sells vintage her I think her her name is dream girl vintage she finds some really cute stuff that's literally like my style everything she finds i'm like oh shut up and this girl is so sweet the amount of time she's met me at my dentist's office because i see my dentist and like where i used to live and she lives where i used to live so she'll like meet me there and she'll drop off whatever i buy okay this one fits but i'm not gonna lie it's a little hard to breathe so she's going in the pile with her twin sister this dress not vintage probably not that special but this is what I wore to my birthday in college and I had this birthday dinner with like a whole line of my friends and it was so fun, so surreal. I've like never felt more loved in my life. I actually made a YouTube video about my birthday that day so if you want to go watch. Um, I was just annoying back then as I am now in case you were wondering but I'm going to keep this because of the memories and maybe I'll ever want to wear it one day. Or maybe I'll fit in it again. I mean, it might fit now, but to be honest, I'm just going to add it to the pile because I'm not ready to appreciate this dress yet. Well, looks like I am ready to appreciate it now. This is objectively cute, and I feel like this is the kind of dress that, although you can probably tell it was made in like the mid to late 2010s, it's like a timeless style. I think this will always be cute, or at least cute to me. And that's all that really matters because you don't have to dress what everyone else is dressing in. Just wear what you love and what you think is cute. I will tell you, thrifting makes it a lot easier to do that because you're not being told what is cute. Like when you go to the mall or Target or whatever, like you have to decide on your own. And I feel like that's also where people struggle is because they can't really imagine styling it. It's so much easier when someone's telling you like, hey, this is cute, buy this. Which if you want to get into vintage clothing, but maybe you don't really like thrifting or don't really have the patience for it, check out vintage markets because they sometimes have some really good prices. and. For me, I mostly price my things between like $20 and $40 on average, and you might be thinking, oh my gosh, that's so much for like used clothes. But if you think about the quality versus stuff now, like how much are you paying for a dress at Urban Outfitters? How much does that cost? How good is the quality? Where was that made? If you use that logic, if you're buying vintage clothing that's in great condition, and most of the time better quality, why not pay similar prices as you would if you just go into a store? Because also you can't just like buy that online, not everyone else is wearing that. So I don't get why people get so mad about prices. And I know I can be kind of biased because I'm also a reseller, but like I just thought that before too. Like I will support other resellers. I buy things from vintage markets. Why am I talking so quickly? Okay, that was my rant. We have a couple more dresses. Although a black dress, it's not any black dress. It has this like really pretty mesh overlay with these like sparkly rose flower details. I'm keeping this one. It's a little close up. And this is the season to be wearing these kind of clothes. I'm so excited. All right, this is our last dress. And you might be wondering, oh girl, there's two hangers. There's two dresses there. Yeah, I know. I know, they are exactly the same. Thrifted them years apart. I will be honest, they were on different sides of the rack. So for a while, I thought I it was just the same dress. Like I would see it, I'm like, oh yeah, that dress. And then I realized, yeah, I actually have two of them. That's how you know you have too many clothes. I'll try it on. Pretty sure it's the same size. It's actually really funny now that I'm looking at it. Focus. Concentrate. High score. 27. 
bop it, twist it, pull it. Anyway, notice anything different? It's like those games where you're like looking and trying to tell the difference. Yeah, this tag is actually sewn into the bias while this tag is sewn on top. That's really interesting. I'm actually surprised because I'm not in love with it. I say, wow, I'm so surprised, but it's been hanging on my dress, dress rack and I haven't worn it for years. Why am I surprised? I think it's because the belt buckles are centered. If they were off-centered, I think I'd like it more. It's everything I look for in a vintage dress. It's like black, it has a higher neck, like it's form-fitting, it has these like really fun chunky silver details like it's totally my style i just don't love it on i was really hoping i was gonna have a friend and like we could match and go out wearing it because i think that's so fun and so cute maybe i should just sell both of them um maybe you and your bestie can go out looking slay in this in these in these dresses i'm a little torn on this one please tell me your opinion i'm gonna post it up I'll just probably like price it up kind of high because I'm hoping actually no one buys it because just in case I change my mind. I'll also be able to tell from looking back at this video. So let me kind of just like, like not pose, but just like, when I watch this back, I'll get a better idea of how they feel about this instead of just looking it in the mirror. No, I actually don't like it. I'm just going to sell it. I've held on to these for so many years for what? Well, we did it, and honestly, I didn't I didn't think I was going to make it through. We did it. We did it. Yeah, yeah, we did. We did it. Hey. These are all the babies we're keeping. The ones we're selling. 23 dresses, including the one I'm wearing. We have a pile. These are going to be put in a bin for later, either for Olive or Skinny Me. These we're altering, and some we are going to end up selling. And yeah, that's it. Let me know if I should make a video of altering these dresses, because I feel like be a fun video but yeah we did it um thank you so much for watching this was a long video to do for my getting back into youtube um but maybe i'll film like a little like get to know me or a day in my life or something just so you can like see who i am and not just when i'm being annoying trying on all my clothes and i'm tired and a little hungover my husband threw this like going away party for one of his co-workers last night and i met all of his co-workers for the first time and it was very overstimulating a lot of fun i'm I'm so drained. My social battery, zero. Also, my camera battery, zero, as it's blinking at me. So, this might be the end. Well, this definitely is the end. It's not the end. It's just the beginning of many more videos to come. I say that, but then I'll probably not edit this for months, and yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, I don't know how often I'm going to make videos. I will try to do it maybe once a month if we're being realistic. I want to set realistic goals for myself. So, I'll see you in maybe a couple weeks. In the meantime, I post a lot more on TikTok and Instagram. Um, I'll link all of that down below. Maybe come check out one of my upcoming markets if you're in SoCal. And I'll be trying to do a live sale relatively soon on whatnot. So um, I'll post updates on my Instagram story. But bye. Thank you. Bye.